Welcome to my uh, Caribou Garage. And I've been interested in cars since I was about 15 years old. And I got my first car, a 39 Packard, when I was 15 and a half. And then I, st I graduated from that kind of car and I got a Porsche in about 1958. And loved that car. And I've had Porsches since, but more recent, I got into Morgans, and this is one of my Morgans. This is a 1956 plus four. It has about 108 horsepower, six, uh, four cylinder engine, and it's made in England. These cars are still made. Morgan is the oldest car company in the world, over 100 years old, that's under the same management and ownership as that is the Morgan family. These cars are unique in that they're made of wood. The body is made of wood and then it's covered, of course, with uh, steel fenders. Actually, this is not a fender. The English call them wings. And this is the bonnet. We call it a hood. This is a bonnet for the Morgan. Uh, many Morgans have the sheepskin strap across the bonnet and that's characteristic of the Morgan. This particular car is a drop head coupe with suicide doors. And uh, I think it has tremendous lines. The Morgan is totally unique and I describe this car as uh, kind of archaic, but very, very interesting and fun to drive. This uh, Morgan is representative of the 1950s sports cars that were introduced in the United States. Cars like MG, Triumph, Jaguar and the Morgan, Austin Healey. We didn't have anything like this. And they, they introduced, they had a tachometer, as you can see in the dash, uh, other instruments, uh, basic stuff that uh, the transmission was a manual, four speed was uh, typical in that era and was uh, not typical in the United States but it soon became the standard. Most of your sports cars have tachometers now, for example. Mainly a sports car laid out with some wood and uh, driven for uh, fun and enjoyment. Uh, this is my 1954 Morgan Plus Four restoration project, which I've been working on for about two years. And it's a, been a total restoration, including complete disassembly of the uh, car as it was, uh, starting with a brand new uh, metal chassis and uh, uh, rebuilding the front end, rebuilding the engine, the rear end, the brake systems, uh, instrument panels, and all of these components will be assembled hopefully within about a year to make a complete car. Right now I'm at the stage of preparing the car for painting. And as you can see, it's in primer. Uh, underneath uh, this car, underneath the panels, is a wood body. We see the wood here, which has been painted black, so it's a little hard to see, but the inside frame of this door is all wood. It's made of uh, European ash, as is the main part of the body in here. These black portions are all wood, uh, and it sits on a metal frame. And this wood body was heavily rotted uh, over the years and so I had to replace a lot of wood and restructure the body so to speak uh, so that it had, came back to its original uh, position and condition. Today we don't have many flat tires on the road but not too many years ago we had a lot of flat tires and this car was prepared because it has two spare tires They'll go right in this, these two slots, be totally exposed to the outside. It gives the car a real interesting look, but it was a necessity in those days because of the unreliability of the tires. Some 60 years later, after buying my first car, the 1937 Packard, and I'm enjoying uh, retirement since I don't work too much now. This is my main job is to work on cars and restore them for my own pleasure. And I'm really pleased that I have the health and the wherewithal to do that at this time in my life. And I frankly have other projects lined up behind this Morgan, which I'm gonna pick up on once I complete the car. Uh, I've got two Porsches to work on and 
and I've got a numerous, uh, well, I don't have numerous, but I have a lot of cars to uh, mess with, and it is my hobby, uh, and aside from my own personal pleasure, I probably can't justify it too much, but uh, I do enjoy it, keeps me going, keeps me thinking. I've met a lot of interesting people who are interested in old cars and made friends uh, around the country, uh, both directly and over the internet. And uh, I will continue to do this as long as I can and as long as I'm interested.